that extra layer of protection to know that the stuff that's coming in, for the most part, is secure and it doesn't trip any flags. On the second part, it allows me to then be able to go into my logs, look at what's happening, and say, you know, usually HTTPS traffic you can't see. Well, in this case, you will be able to see what's happening because the actual HTTPS traffic is being intercepted by your router opened up, looked at, and then re-encapsulated and sent to your client. That is a good thing in, in, plain, in plain terms. It's, it allows for uh, things that would usually be uh, hidden and you can't see it, encrypted, to then be decrypted, but at the router level, so decrypted by, uh, by an entity that you trust being yourself before being passed on to, um, to, your, to, your, to your kids, to your family. That's, that's, that gives a great peace of mind. Now, the headache comes in, well, there will be some sites that don't like that, that exchange and you have to kind of bypass and let those go through um, and a lot of other uh, little web tricks to make it, make it work, but it is an extra layer of security that I really love. Captive portal, you can see I don't actually have that on here, but if you own like a business or if you have certain uh, networks that you want people to uh, be able to pay for when they come in to have access to your network you can set that up here or if you have a business because this isn't just for home as well but for companies you can also set this up so that when your when your users come to sit at their computer they say it comes up with that pop-up screen hey you're and with this such and such company we're monitoring traffic it gives them that that uh that legal, that legal binding document saying this is what's happening, we're tracking what's going on, and gives you know gives a heads up. Um, the firewall, this is where you set up things where you can stop um, you know various various types of traffic coming in. You can block things. Um, you can stop you know different sessions. Like if you don't want your kids to play a certain game at a certain time, you can set those things up in that firewall. It's going to block it out. Uh, here, there's nothing really that I'm. I'm really blocking out now, but there's been times where I've set it up where it's really stringent and just a lot of stuff won't be getting in. Um, ad blocker, which is just fantastic. This, I use this for YouTube to stop ads coming from YouTube. You're getting a lot of pop-ups. This, this ad blocker is just, I cannot explain how great the web feels with this bad boy on. So um, a lot of people are using stuff like Raspberry Pis, what is it, Pi-hole. This is Pi-hole built into your router, and that is just perfect. So there's a lot of other features that are here. You can set things up with Active Directory to have certain people logging in at certain times. I have none of that set up. The, the, the last three, I guess, important things I really want to show you guys is uh, WAN Balancer. Um, my OpenVPN and my Tunnel VPN. I guess four because intrusion prevention is important as well. But quickly, for WAN Balancer, I'll tell you a quick story. Here in Vegas, internet companies are charging an absorbent amount of prices for business lines and faster internet, so giggy downloads. Uh, uploads are, you know, okay. My, my speeds are okay, but really what I wanted was I needed static IP addresses and I needed that download capability at the same time. And they were just charging an insane amount of money. They wanted me to pay, what was $2,000 for uh, Giggy and uh, static IP addresses. So what I did is I bought the cheapest business package that gave me my static IP addresses and I also bought the top uh, home package so I can get my Giggy downloads and I configured it within my WAN balancer to give me the best of both worlds. I have my static IP address as well as the speed coming from that Giggy uh, link, which as long as you know how to set it up, hey, it's not a problem, right? I can show you that later in the comment section. Let me know if you're interested in showing you how I set that up. But really, these things are very self-explanatory. It's not super complex to get it set up. Uh, Untangle makes it really easy. Click a button, it just works. Um, my OpenVPN. OpenVPN allows me to VPN actually to my home network where I don't have uh, many services uh, talking out. You can't really see the, the, a lot of services on my external IP address, but internally I do have a lot of ports that are open SSH, um, 
an FTP on some of my on some of my servers. Um, with that being said, the most secure way to do that is to VPN into your home network wherever you are. And not only am I able to access all of my uh, systems inside of my network, I'm also able to browse just as if I was home. So if you're looking at, I have, a, have another VP, uh, another video up that talks about VPNs. Uh, this is how I set mine up. I give my own, myself my own um, VPN cert that is then passed throughout all of my systems, my laptops. And when I'm away, I then connect in to my network. And uh, this is this is how I do it through OpenVPN. Now, one of the best, I think, best VPN type services or things that you that Untangle has is this Tunnel VPN. Tunnel VPN allows you to take other people's uh, VPN. I use OpenVPN that config file. You can put it in here and say exactly which tunnels you want specific systems to go out of. Does that make sense? So you can have other VPN cert files inside of your router and you can say you want computer A or computer B to browse the internet using this specific tunnel. It is awesome for those that know what I'm talking about. This is a feature that is <laughs> just incredible, amazing, and great. Uh, but you can send certain systems to actually browse through Tor right here from your router. So not all of your network, but just maybe one system that you're browsing uh, Tor through. And I think myself and uh, Sidkill 17 will be going through a whole overview of what Tor is, how to use it, how to get there, how to protect yourself, and uh, how to use it and what it actually is. So I think we're doing that uh, Sunday, so tomorrow. Um, the last thing that I want to go over is this intrusion prevention. And intrusion prevention, intrusion prevention utilizes Splunk rules, and those Splunk rules um, can you can you can write your own. They have a lot that's already set in here that will block a lot of malicious scans, um, traffic, TCP, UDP scans onto your network, it'll just block them out. What I did was I got a lot of my hacker friends, I said here's my IP address range, what I want you to do is scan my ports and see what you can see. I started to let them do that as they were doing it. I started um, implementing more and more rules as I saw them attacking my system and one by one they all started getting shunned away because of the rules that are set here and untangle under my intrusion prevention system. Um, these are, you know, the configuration backup. I have this set up to uh, backup automatically to my cloud so that if anything happens to my instance of Untangle, I can always go back, retrieve that backup, and rebuild my router just as quick as possible. So, this is a quick overview of how I'm protecting my network. What I want you guys to do is hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it got your, your, uh, your mind interested in Untangle and the things that it can do. You can download it. I believe they have a free trial for maybe, I think it's like 30 days. But for $50 a year, that is just a steal for all of the capabilities that this Untangle uh, router can do for your environment. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know uh, what you want to know more about more of the configuration, download it, put it on your network, put it in a VM, test it out, um, see how you like it, and this can actually replace your uh, Linksys routers and all those routers that you're getting from uh, various companies. You can have that all set up and configured and, for yourself and learn about your network, learn how to protect it, and, and protect it, not just yourself, but your family, even better just by using Untangle and it's, uh, it's, it's, it's set up because it's, it's just incredible what you can do. And uh, yeah, I love it. I've been with them for a good long time and they haven't let me down. So, hope you enjoyed. Uh, write, hit me up in the, in the comment section of what you want to see, what you want to know more about. Like and subscribe, I guess that's the thing you gotta do. Uh, hit the, yeah, hit the like button, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys on the next video, all right? Stay focused, never quit.